I felt like the Lord has dealt with me about this. I've been praying about this service since Brother Vix asked me about it. So I want to I just share with us what God has dealt with me about, okay? So if you can and able to, let's stand together for the reading of God's Word. Acts chapter 27. And we're going to begin reading. Let's just begin reading in, chapter, in verse 13. And we'll start there. And you, you Bible readers know the story anyway. So, Verse 13 says, And when the south wind blew softly, supposing that they had obtained their purpose, loose and dense, they sailed close by Crete. But not, <clears throat> but not after law arose against it a tempest, wind called Eurachlodon. And when the ship was caught, and could not bear up into the wind, we let her drive. And running into a certain island, which is called Claudia, we had much work to come by the boat. And when they had taken up, they used helps undergirding the ship, and fearing lest they should fall into the quicksand, strike sail, and so were driven. And we began exceedingly tossed with a tempest. The next day, they lightened the ship. In the third day, we cast out with our hands the tackling of the ship. And when neither sun nor stars in many days appeared, and no small tempest lay on us, all hope that we should be saved was then taken away. But after long of thanks, Paul stood forth in the midst of them and said, Sirs, Ye should have hearkened unto me, and not have loosed from Crete, and to have gained this harm and loss. And now I exalt you to be of good cheer, for there shall be no loss of any man's life among you, but of the ship. For there stood by me this night the angel of God, whose I am and whom I serve, saying, Fear not, Paul. Thou must be brought before Caesar, and lo, God hath given thee all them that sail with thee. He said, Wherefore, sirs, be of good cheer, for I believe God, that it shall be even as it was told me. He said, How be it, we must be cast upon a certain island. And when the fourteenth night was come, as we were driven up and down in Adria, about midnight, the shipmen deemed that they drew near to some country and sounded and found it 20 fathoms. And when they had gone a little farther, they sounded again and found it 15 fathoms. Then fearing lest we should have fallen upon rocks, they cast four anchors out of the stern and wished for the day. And as the shipmen's were about to flee out of the ship when they had let down the boat into the sea on the color and was and as thought they would have cast anchors out of the foreship. Paul said to the centurion and to the soldiers, Except these abide in the ship, you cannot be saved. Then the soldiers cut off the ropes of the boat and let her fall off. Thank you for standing. I'm going to stop right there. I want to talk to us tonight on a little thought. When the ship is tossed, and it talked about a ship right here. I know you know what I'm talking about is, but what about us as a vessel of God? When the ship is tossed, who is the boss? When the ship is tossed, who is the boss? I tell you, we're living a day and a time. There's people that are going through things. They're confronted with things. They're facing things. So many things that we try to handle within our own selves. I read to you right here in Scripture reading, I read all of that. It, it told about where they were lightening the ship. It told about where they were light, uh, laying things aside. 
They was casting things off. They were doing many different things within their own power. I mean to save the ship, to keep the ship afloat. And, uh, and, and, and let, me, let, let me say to us, uh, this, this ship, if I could say it this way, had been tossed like a yo-yo. It had been thrown around in the waters. And, and no doubt on this ship, they were skilled sailors that was aboard that ship. They had a captain aboard that ship. And they also had prisoners aboard that ship. And one of them was Paul. Paul was there as a prisoner to be taken. But for 14 days, this ship was going up in water, waves coming against the ship, winds beating against the ship. It was a storm, no doubt, like they have never seen before. I want y'all to help me now. It's not going to scare me if you say amen, hallelujah, glory to God. It's not going to bother me. Amen. So, you know, I, y- y'all, y- y'all making me feel like I'm just driving this ship all by myself. But I, I, I tell you what, but I, I, it's just like I can feel the tossing of the waves with, with somebody right here that God is, is wanting to help you. For 14 days, that ship was like a yo-yo up and down. The winds and the waves are bouncing against you. You know, and, and that's a long time for a storm, Amen. for a storm. But did you know, then again, some people, they go through storms for a lot longer than that. Come on, can you say amen? I, I wish you would help me. I wish you would help me right here. You see, the ship was controlled by the storm. I got to thinking about this. This ship right here was controlled by the storm. Ever heard that storm wanted that ship to go? It could drive it. It could drive it. It was controlled by the storm. It was not controlled by the sailors, even though they had sailors on board. Even though they were skilled, even though no doubt they had probably been on that ship before, but it was controlled by the storm. I want to tell you here tonight, if you're in a storm, that storm will take you anywhere that it wants you to go. Come on, can you say amen? Come on, help me right here for a while. But I want to tell you what, here it was. I began to thinking about this, and I never, I, 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 I've never saw this in this before until God got to deal it with me about this right here. You know, and, 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 and the, the sailors was out there doing everything within their power, you know, that they were capable of doing. You know, they were doing things within their own hands. They, 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 they were saying, this is what, I, we got to keep this, this ship afloat. But then there was a man on board that knew how to get a hold to God, that got in touch with God. And he was the one that said, wherefore, sirs, he said, be of good cheer, for I believe God that it shall be even as it was told me. Come on. I want to tell you something. Thank God for Paul's that knows how to get a hold of God. Come on and can hear from heaven. And I'd like like to tell somebody right here tonight, as long as God, as long as God continues to speak, come on, there is not a situation that God cannot handle and God cannot, come on, control. Come on, can you say amen? But when these sailors, as long as they had it within their hands, my friend, come on, help me right here for a while. But then I read on down there and it said, then the soldiers cut off the ropes of the boat and they let it fall off. But Brother David, as long as they had, uh, you know, I, I just look at that as a little rescue boat. As long as they had that little rescue boat right there, they said, they're going to be some of us. We're going to be safe. We're going to get, come on, to the other side. But then, you know, Paul told them, you got to stay aboard. Come on, help me here. Except you abide, except you stay aboard the ship. I want to tell you what, you will sink and you will go down and you will drown, no doubt. Come on. But I want to tell you what, I can imagine what they looked like when they cut the rope on that little ship right there, that little boat and just let it go. You know what they done? They got it out of their hands. Come on. You know what I love to see right here tonight? Somebody that's being tossed and driven by a storm that is a raging and a coming against you. Come on. And you may say that it looks like all hope is gone. It looks like the 
thing is going to just end. It doesn't matter how much we have bombarded heaven. It doesn't matter how much we have held on to God and we have prayed and prayed and prayed and cried out to God. It doesn't matter how many tears that we have shed. Brother Powers, don't give up on Rhonda. Come on, church, don't give up on the situation. It may look cloudy and it may look dark all around and the devil may be a telling you, come on, you may not have seen the moon, the stars, and the sun for several days and the winds have been a howling and the waves have been a rowing. Come on, but I want to tell you tonight, if you can just cut loose of that little cut to him ropes, come on, and the Lord will help you. Right? Sweet Lamb of God, I'm a feeling the glory of the Lord right here tonight in this house. I want to tell you what I'm a feeling here tonight. I'm a feeling that there is help for someone right here tonight. If the battle has been great, my friend, come on, I want to tell you what, as I was begin to say what Brother A.D. song used to sing, Amazing Grace. When he would end that song, he would say, Then we shall wear a crown. Come on. I want to tell you something. After a while, my friend, if you will hold on to God, it may look like all hope is gone, but I want to tell you what. Let the master be in control. Cut loose of those things. Cut the rope and let God have it and give it all to God. Come on. And God can handle the situation. Remember, God, I'm a feeling the glory of the Lord right here tonight in this house, my friend. I feel like God is wanting to help somebody right here tonight. The burden has been great. Come on, you feel like you've been pressed out of marriage and you don't know what to do and you don't know which way to look. I want to tell you what to do. Look unto the hills for which cometh your help because your help, it cometh from the Lord. Come on. I I thought about it, you know, in, in thinking about this storm. Storms, you know what? We, we, we never know. Just here the other day, a storm come up. I mean, it began to lighten. It began to thunder. We got rain. Come on. And I heard on the radio where there's some man, you know, he got struck by the lightning and still lived. Amen. He said he still just fell to tingle in his hands. But I want to tell you what, we never know when a storm is going to come up. Come on. And some of you right here tonight, you may be in a storm. And you're probably wondering, when is it going to be over? When is it going to end? Come on, help me right here for a while. i tell you what, when we put it all in God's hands and let God take control of it. Come on, can you say amen? God can take care of it. You know, in the Bible says here, I believe it is in verse 13 where I started was, and it says in the south wind it blew softly, supposing that they had obtained, obtained their purpose Loose and dense, they sail close by creek. I want to tell you what, it was a clear day then and the south wind blew softly. But I want to tell you what, it wasn't long. The clouds began to roll in. Come on. Come on, help me right. The night began to set in. The stars began to disappear. They couldn't see the moon no more. Come on. The next morning it was so bad and so dark, they could not even see the sun. And you think about that, a storm and the waves are beating on that ship for 14 days and 14 nights. Come on. And they, they, they wouldn't do, eat no food. And they were throwing things overboard, trying to lighten that ship, trying to keep it afloat. Come on. In other words, they had it in their hands. They had it in their grip. They was a trying to do it. But then it got so bad some of them thought about well we got this little boat right down there come on and we'll just some of us in the centurion we'll get on that boat right there but Paul saw what was happening come on they was trying to run and get away for their life come on but then come on but except except you abide and except you stay on the ship if I stand to be corrected right here I believe they was 276 souls that was on that vessel that was on that ship come on but except you stay right here and except you abide right here. Come on. I want to tell you what. You're not going to be no place of safety, but you know what they done? They just cut the ropes to it and let the little boat fall into the sea, my friend, just to go and see. Come on. I Come on. Help me right here for a while. I want to tell you what. They was no doubt still on board and still on the deck. And the Bible says right here that some come in on boards and some comes in on pieces. Come on. But there was one thing about it. They were saved. Come on. Can you say amen? 
I don't know what you're going through tonight. I don't know exactly where you at. I don't know exactly why God dealt with me about this. But I want to tell you, I feel like right here tonight that somebody's vessel is being tossed to and fro my feet. Come on, help me right here. And you are wondering, come on, how much more of this can I take? I'm going to serve notice on the devil for you, ma'am. Listen to me, sir. God's grace is sufficient. He didn't get you started in this race for you to quit. He didn't get you started in this race for you to surrender. He didn't get you started in this race for you to give up. Sweet Lamb of God, I'm a feeling something, a charge in my heart and a charge in my soul right here tonight. Sister Chris, he didn't bring you from England. Come on, help me right here to desert you and to leave you. Come on, I want to tell you what, he'll still be a God to you. Come on, oh, glory to God. I'm a feeling right here tonight that there is somebody you are reaching out. Come on, but the waves is a howling. Come on, and the winds are a rolling. Come on, and the water is a rolling, and it's a beating against that vessel. Come on, and you are wondering, come on, what am I going to do? I tell you what to do. God, you are holding on to just a little bit. Cut that rope, my friend, and look to God. Lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways acknowledge Him. He will guide you. He will direct your path. He will direct your steps. Come on. He, come on. He'll give you the come on what you need to do, the answer to what to do. Come on. Just hold on to God and look to God, my friend. Come on. I feel the Lord right here tonight that is a wanting to help somebody in this congregation. Come on. I thought about, you know, the Lord dealing with me about this right here. I, I thought about what Paul, what Paul went through in the book of Romans, chapter 8 and verse 35. He said, who shall separate us from the love of Christ? He said, shall tribulation or distress or persecution a famine, nakedness, a pearl, a sword. He said, as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Amen. But listen to what he said. But he said, nay, in all these things we are more. Won't you get it? We are more than conquerors through him that loved us. He said, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. I want to tell you something. Paul had been through some things. But Paul got persuaded that he was more than a conqueror. He could overcome. Come on, help me right here for a little while. I'll I, I tell you what. I'd like to see the Holy Ghost to help somebody. I really would. I'd like to see the Holy Ghost help somebody right here tonight. I'd like to see him, Brother David, just to turn a famine into a feast. Come on, can you say amen? Help me right here for a while. You, we, we come here. We come here heavy laden. We come here cast down. Come on, we, we, we come here and where we've been struggling, where we've been fighting. Come on, just to hold on, just to do everything I can, just to hold on. Come on, help me right here for a while. But I want to tell you what, as Brandy and Christy sung that song, I've got so much to thank him for. I want to tell you something, church. We do have so much to praise him and to thank him for. Come on, help me right here for a while. After a while, this thing is going to get oh, be over with. Come on, come on, help me. For we're going to stand before God. I tell Hey, what I want to stand there with open arm. I want to stand there and hear him say, Well done, thy good and thy faithful servant. In a thou into the joys of the Lord, don't you? Yes, there's been some battles. Come on. Yes, there's been some troubles. Yes, there's been things. There's people that looks at me. They said, You look like you never had a battle. You look like you've never been through a storm all your life. Come on, help me right here for a while. But I want to tell you something. They said, You how you why? She's just plumb black headed, come on, dark headed, and you just plumb got snow all up all the top of your head I want to tell you something or another that doesn't have a thing to do with it come on can you say amen but there has been battles come on there has been storms come on if you're going to serve the Lord you might as well realize there's going to be tribulation and brother Powell and brother David and there's others right here and sister Shirley they can say the same thing but thanks be unto God they can
can stand and they can testify he has been good to me he has been faithful unto me just about saying the same thing as what the apostle Paul said come on help me right here for a while and brother Powell's are talking about some that he has got that he wants to pass on down to one another generation and maybe go on to another generation and hopefully for another generation and then brother Eric talking about a this is St. Augustine and talking about the history of St. Augustine and about some fresh water. Come on, I want to tell you something, my friend. There is some fresh water right here tonight. If you are needing something from the Lord, sweet Lamb of God, I'm feeling something are churning and I'm beginning to bubble up inside of my soul and inside of my heart, my friend. Come on, I tell you what I feel here tonight. I feel if there is help here tonight, I'm a feeling the confidence that is here that's going to help you and to lift that load. Come on, help me right here. He may not give you your death and answer right here tonight but he is able to give you strength come on you don't have to think about a pain pill you don't have to think about some kind of a nerve tablet I'm talking about a holy ghost that will come by come on he can turn a famine into a feast my friend he can give you a lifting up come on he come on help me right here for a while you know what I'd love to see him do right here tonight is to lift somebody up above the shadows to get you to get you strength and to get you help you know why because he is a very sweet lamb of God he's a very present help in the time of need. Oh, glory to the Lamb. We've all had storms. We've all had battles. We've all had problems. We've all had troubles. We've had our share of them. We really have. We really have. And you have. But I want to tell you, there's a God that has enabled us and helped us. Come on, can you say amen? You know, we have been, there have been storms. There have been storms on the outside. What if the rain will fall on you? The snow and the sleet, come on, it falls on you. And the wind, it blows on you. Come on. There's a storm on the outside. But then again, there are storms on the inside. Come on, them storms on the inside. Come on, help me right here for a while. Sometimes to us, I, I've seen people that is, that's had nerve problems and, and different issues along those lines. Amen. And, and to me, you know, it, it, don't, it, don't seem, it, it don't seem real. It don't seem like reality. But I had a nurse that told me one time, she said, I want to tell you something, sir. It is real. Amen. It is real. You may not have never had to deal with it. Come on. Right. I'm talking about oppression and depression and things like that. Come on, but God knows, God knows, and that can be a storm on the inside. Come on, can you say amen? And when the storm is on the inside, trouble comes up in you. Come on, can you say amen? Come on, trials, they try you. Difficulties and burdens, they press down on you. Come, come on, help me right here tonight. Is there somebody here tonight? Come on, your vessel, the devil is oppressing. Can oppress and come on. The devil would just like to press you and just put you in the grinding mill, so to speak, Brother David, and just keep on a grind and keep on a rubbing and keep on a rubbing just to see how much more. Come on, can they stand? How much more is it gonna take before they're gonna throw in the towel, before they're gonna surrender and throw their hands up? Come on. I tell you what, I hope that there's nobody here tonight under the sound of my voice that even got that in kind of an intention. Come on, can you say amen? Come on. Because there is a God in heaven that's able to take care of your depression. He's able to take care of oppression. Whatever may be troubling you, whatever may be bothering you. Come on, help me right here for a while. And no doubt there's some of these sailors right here that was aboard this vessel right here. I mean to tell you, when Eurachlodon come up and they never saw a storm like that before, no doubt they got anger and they, you know what, and things begin to build up in them. Come on. But you know what Paul said? They stood by me this night an angel come on and I believe God is going to be even as he said come on help me right here for a while he didn't say I believe in God but he said I believe God and when somebody says that brother Powell was the devil he trembles come on can you say amen the old drunk walking down the road he'll talk to you about God the don't panic they'll talk to you about God they believe in that there is a God but when you say I believe God come on help me right here for a while I want to tell you what 
Lord, come on. I would to God is somebody right here tonight. You come on. You would put the devil under your feet. Come on. Quit let him ride on your shoulders. Come on. And hound you and trouble you in your mind. Come on. And in your thoughts. Come on. And Brother David was a teacher something about that. I believe he mentioned something about this morning Sunday school maybe that when he was in prayer that they was a, and I stand to be corrected on this Brother David but you said there was a voice that was a coming to you trying to come on to get you to ignore and to put off about prayer and Brother David finally said not right now I'm a talking to God come on come on help me right here for a while I want to tell you what when you go to praying my friend the devil is going to go to talking to you come on he's going to go to hounding you you know what I feel like he's a telling some right here tonight it's not going to get any better it's not going to get any easier come on help me right here it may not but we are still more than conquerors in Christ Jesus our Lord come on I mean, it makes me think about when David went out there against Goliath come on with that five smooth stones come on help me here and he took one of them and he got that sling and he hit him right between the eyes and brought him to the ground my friend come on and you know what he said if you get up from there I got four more just like that come on I want to tell you something church you got to have the ammunition come on that when the devil rises back up to let him to know that there is more where did that come from sweet lamb of God I'm a feel the glory of the Lord here tonight in this house my friend come on help me here for a while if you are blood bought and your sins is under the blood come on I want to tell you what it doesn't take a come on it doesn't take a professor to be able to put the devil on the run all you got to do is to plead the blood and call on the name of Jesus Christ and he's got to go sweet Oh my God, I'm a feeling help here tonight for somebody in this house. Amen. But when the vessel is tossed, who then is the boss? Let me tell you, when, when the Lord become the boss, and I hate to use that terminology to describe it now with God, but you know what I'm a talking about. Amen. Come on. Woo. When he become the boss, come on. This makes me think about y'all's mother. She was a cook. And, and Brother Raymond always told me, he said, when I married Judy, her last name was Cook. She was a cook, and she become a boss. Now, Raymond, Brother Raymond can say it and get by with it, but I better be careful. So anyhow, you know what I'm talking about. I'm not just saying that you know about God being a, a, a boss. I'm not, I'm not belittling him. I want you to know that. But when the, when the ship is being tossed, you know when he become boss? It's when they cut that rope. Amen. God saw that they was laying aside everything Woo! that was upon that vessel, and they were totally trusting in him. Hallelujah. They was totally looking under him. They was looking under Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Come on, help me right here for a while. But I want to tell you something. When that storm is on the inside, come on, help me right here. And, and you know, on the storm, when it's on the outside, I've seen storms, just like you've seen storms where tornadoes have come through or, you know, uh, what they call a downburst or whatever, you know, and, and do a lot of damage and tear down buildings and all of that. And, and tornadoes come through and just, just lay, I mean, strong iron over to the ground. It had to have some force. It had to have some power to do that. But I want to tell you what, on the storm on the outside, you can tell people about the destruction and what the effects of what all that has done. It blow the tree down on my house. It blow the roof off of my house. And we, you can tell them about that. But when there's a storm on the inside, it's hard to explain to people what is it going on, what is it taking place when there's a storm on the inside. Come on. I remember one time we was coming in from Alabama, I believe it was. We was coming up 85, coming in from Alabama this time. Sometimes we come up 20. just depends on where, what part of Alabama that we're in. We was coming 85. And I remember the wind and everything changing, wind a blowing and everything. I told Arlene, I said, we fixing to get in a storm. And I, then I began to look up, and I, I began to see them trees are laying over. I said, I tell you what, Arlene, we better speed on up and get on down the road because I think, I think there's something coming across right there. Lo and behold, I look back, and we did. We kind of, we you know, outdistance it and outrun it a little bit, and, and we got a little bit in front of it. 
We felt a little bit of the wind, but it, it was a tornado coming up through there, making its path, and Brother Powell was laying down trees and everything, just back, right back behind us. I mean, you make an out distance, you make an outrun a storm on the outside. Right. Come on. But I want to tell you what, when there's a storm on the inside, you can go as far as the New York, you can go as far south as Florida, you can go far west as, as California, you can go far east as Boston or wherever, but when you get there with that storm on the inside, that storm is still there. Come on, come on, help me right here for a little bit. But I want to tell you something. But God can speak to the storm. Now I feel like now, now, I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not going. I'm not going to hold this long. In fact, I'm fixing to bring it to a close. I feel like. I feel like now. I want you to help me to pray, and I, I want you to be a, to be obedient to God. I really do. I really do. Now, don't do it for me, but do it for the Lord and do it for yourself. But I feel like there's some here that God is a speaking to. And God is a dealing with, and God is a drawing, and a pulling on you. Come on, help me, Ray. Because your vessel, your vessel is being tossed. It is being tossed. Come on, and, and, and I read that tonight in the scripture. It talked about where the vessel was being tossed, and we just let it drive. We let it drive. Just let it go. In other words, the storm was the one controlling the vessel. It wasn't the sailors. But when the sailors cut the ropes of that little vessel and let it go. Somebody, I feel like it's somebody here tonight. I don't know what you're battling against. I don't know what all you're up against. I may know some things. And I'm, I'll be honest with you. But I want to tell you what. If you can cut the rope tonight and let it go. God can bring things in control. While everybody stands tonight, no one's looking around tonight. How about, I, I know, I, I know, may not have been what you would expect tonight, may not have been what you were looking for, but I want to tell you what. There's a, we don't, we don't, we don't need another, we don't need another broken vessel. We don't need another broken vessel. We really don't. We really don't. But I want to tell you what, if you're broken tonight, God can take and use Broken things. He can take and use broken things. Amen. Samson got a broken jaw, and he took care of some Philistines. God can use broken things. Amen. You may feel tonight you're broken. You're broken. But I want to tell you tonight, on the authority of God's holy word, God can help you. Amen. Whatever head is bowed, and no one's looking around tonight, I wonder... I wonder maybe if there's anyone. I'm not going to ask you to slip your hand up. I'm just going to ask you to step out and come on around this altar. You're familiar and you know the place you can get your help. And you know where that your help is going to come from. It's going to come from the Lord here tonight. But when the ship is being tossed, who? Who is your boss? Who is your boss? Heavenly Father, we love you tonight. And we thank you, God, for thy goodness. And we thank you for your love and for your blessings. We thank you, God, for each and every one, each and every home that's represented here tonight. We thank you and we praise you for them, God. And we love them, God, and you love them. God, they are dear to you. And God, you are dear to them. Draw us and move us, God, and bring us. God, as we come around this altar here tonight, God, to talk to you, have your way, God, in Jesus' name. How about it tonight? Anyone? You want to come tonight? Come on tonight. I know we don't have no music, but we can have an altar. We can have an altar tonight. Come on. When the ship is being tossed, who is the boss? Thank you.